So we come to lifting the ball or sometimes called holding the ball in front of the shoulders or something around that, depending on what form, um, etc. you do. It's a nice simple move. Um, we're just taking this move from the 18 form Qigong sequence. It's number seven of the 18 form Qigong sequence, but we're putting three forms together, that eight brocades forms, and then we're starting an 18 chewing gong um, form, and then a nine form at the end. So basically 35 moves in all. So this is seven of the 18 added onto the first eight brocades. Um, so this is 15 and a whole 35. Again, it doesn't matter. I've put in brackets the number 35, and then I'll put next to it what number it is in the whole form of the three forms we're doing here. So you can do these segmentally. Um, it doesn't matter really, because you're going really into the breathing, then just a bit of movement. I'm not spending much time on the movement. This one's called lifting the ball. Um, again, our name's very similar. But basically, we're just taking the movement and we're not going down the traditional path um, of breathing to belly like a balloon, the usual Qigong um, setup where you're sort of going into the meridians, the electrode, magnetic rivers, etc., and the organs it's benefiting, etc. Um, this one will benefit the pericardium and the spleen. It's been linked to within the 18 form Qigong sequence. Um, but again, I'm a believer in. You, when you're breathing in, allowing that breath to manifest, that will reach every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, every atom of the body will be reached through the oxygen you breathe. Um, that's common sense. So especially when you're doing this in a very sort of specific way, that will manifest in every organ, etc. I'm gonna turn that off. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go straight in with the breathing. So we're going down the yogic path uh, and the Pilates path and the hypnotherapy part, therapy part, part with the breathing even. Um, a bit of a mixture of breaths. So we're gonna start all that straight away. So we're gonna simply zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals and take your navel towards the spine. They go together, their muscles, segmentally. And right now, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, you're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. You've sort of blown out a candle through pursed lips. And that is going to help us breathe into these lower lobes, the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into these lower lobes, the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, these fish gills. 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So just simply allow that to happen as you're breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. Lovely. As you're still zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, follow the journey all the way in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. Lovely. Even imagine someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go right now. As you allow that breath to manifest, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep, into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Even imagine someone's wrapped a scarf tightly around your ribs and you breathe into that scarf wide and full. Lovely, adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath. And that's gonna help us use our pelvic floor, our corset muscle, our powerhouse, our girdle of strength, three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing the spine, what we call a transverse abdominus, in the most efficient manner, but helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. That allows us to use our pelvic floor, and our corset muscle in the most efficient manner. That's what we call lateral thoracic breathing. In short, in Pilates, that's our lateral thoracic breathing. So with that, we're gonna close the mouth and go slightly more down the yogic path, just slightly, as we close the mouth and carry on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals right now. 
That's gonna help us just simply lengthen the whole wheel cycle, the breath, okay? Because it's a smaller filter through the nose and that's gonna naturally help us lengthen the breath in a more cleansing way, in a longer fashion. So again, in your asanas, etc., you will do that. You will lengthen the breath or in some types of yogic breath, there's many different types. Okay, I digress, we're back to the breathing, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals, and simply breathing it out through the nose, slightly going down that yogic path, which we come back on in a minute. But now, as you're doing that, you'll feel naturally, as that whole will cycle the breath lengthens, especially the out breath, will want to fall, will want to fall longer than the in breath. So simply allow that to happen right now. And as that happens right now, as that out breath falls longer than the in breath, and you allow that to happen, consciously take your mind to that out breath. And as you do that, you're going down the hypnotherapy path, sort of like 7 11 breathing, or you know, not that we're counting, it could be 5 and 10. But again, just making the out breath longer than the in breath, quadruple it, double it, triple it whatever suits you, just make the out breath longer than the in breath without forcing anything. The in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging them wrestle relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort, okay? Lovely, that's gonna help the parasympathetic nervous system. <clears throat> sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. All the things you don't think about, cellular communication, organ function, etc., all being benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. And simply allowing that simplicity to relax the mind. So we sort of gone down the three paths there with the breathing. Now you can stick with that or you can make that slightly more advanced yogic breath, what we call ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. So again, just to do that, if you can get, if you can get this, great. If you can't, don't worry, just carry on breathing as you are right now. Breathing into them lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Breathing it out through the nose, while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Keep on doing that right now. Just simply being aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. If you wanna go on to ujjayi breath, slightly more advanced yogic breath, then we're gonna grip at the esophagus. We're gonna narrow the esophagus, make a smaller filter, narrow the esophagus, and we're gonna do a soft, sweet, sighing, whistling, silky sound. So again, if you can't get this, don't worry, carry on breathing as you are, otherwise it's gonna sound like this, we're gonna demonstrate. The only way is to demonstrate, we're gonna breathe in for the nose still. Keep them shoulders down and exhale. It's like going ah, with the mouth shut. So you're gonna breathe in, it's a Shoulders down and it's an exhale. <clears throat> As you can feel that raspy, silky sound from the back of the throat. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, but again, it might sound a little bit different, but again, it's a raspy, silky sound from the back of the throat. It's like a... Kick these shoulders down though. We want to come up and exhale. That gives us something even more to focus on and hear, okay? It's focusing breath, a sort of natural focusing breath we do in everyday life. And that's gonna even more so build the heat within the body and fan the fire, fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. In Sanskrit, cease your breathing. <laughs> Lovely. Again, that's a sort of natural breath we do in everyday life. Sometimes when we sort of do a, trying to want to do a fine motor skill, etc., threading needles is a good example, something like that. 
We're sigh maybe, but we're just overemphasizing that focusing breath, real focusing breath. That just gives you something even more to focus on the breath. Helps us stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat within the body. Lovely. So again, with Ujjayi breath or not, we're going to take that breathing into vinyasa, breath synchronized movement in Sanskrit. Breath synchronized motion. We're going to integrate the breath and emotion and calibrate and synchronize the breath and emotion. So again, from here, still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out abdominals, keep with them breathing principles. And we're going to exhale to here and breathing come back. Even imagine you've got a skewer through your head and you're just turning off that skewer, keeping the shoulders down. Exhale, breathing in. I'm going to show you the feet in a minute if you want. You can just do this from here without moving the feet. Breathing in, exhale. If you want to come up on the toes and exhale here, you can do. Or slightly turn the foot on the ball of the heel and turn. Breathing, come back. Exhale. Again, I'll come back and demonstrate. So it's uh, breathing and coming back. Exhale. Again, a little turn on the foot, a little pivot's going to save the knee. But again, as you exhale, be nice and long as you turn here and really elongate the exhale as long as you like. You, again, imagine that skewer through your head, you turn in that. And again, that puppet string on your head, that hook, that brace on your head, pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, breathing in, coming back. Exhale, that little turn on the foot. Breathing in, coming back. Just wringing out all the tension from the spine on that elongated exhale. Breathing in, coming back. That puppet string, that hook, that brace on your head, pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, let go. Just bring the hand up high. Cool, but keep them shoulders down. Remember, overactive in these upper traps. So again, they do want to take over sometimes. Night centers are overactive in them. So keep the shoulders down. Exhale, breathing, come back. Exhale, hands are loose, fingers extended, but you know, just spaces between them nice and relaxed. Exhale. And again, just really elongate the out breath. You want to stay here and just elongate the out breath for as long as you like and simply calibrate and synchronize and integrate the breath and emotion as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out abdominals, with you dry breath or not. Simply elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Lovely, that's a nice one for rigging out the tension in the spine. Same as the next one is, uh, it's number eight, the 18 form Qigong sequence, or number 16 is whole 35 free forms put together. It's called gazing at the moon. Another one sort of ringing out the tension from the spine. Um, but again, that was lifting the ball. Real nice one if you're doing Tai Chi, just keeping the hands relaxed and just sort of getting rid of all the sort of stresses that you purge. As you do the exhale, you imagine all the stresses purging from the body, from the spine. The spine's linked to all the meridians, them electromagnetic rivers through the body, or even the nervous system, you know, runs from your spine out to every area in the body. So again, it's a nice one for sort of wringing out all the tension and stresses from the spine. As you're sort of wringing out the dirty cloth in the stream, it's getting cleaner and cleaner. As you keep on wringing out all the tension from the spine on that elongated out breath. Lovely, you never step in the same stream twice. It's always running slightly in a different direction as you keep on elongating the out breath for as long as you like. Breathing in, coming back. Nice, simple motion and really good for your Tai Chi to relax the shoulders, relax the hands. Lovely. Gazing at the moon next. Bang. <clears throat> that was lifting the ball.